Hello and welcome to Celestial Chronicles, the channel where we explore the biblical truths about God, angels, and humans. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the most important and controversial topics in the Bible, hell. What is hell? Where is it? Who goes there? And how long does it last? These are some of the questions that we will try to answer from the scriptures. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you for your support. Hell is a place of suffering prepared for the devil and his angels. That's what Jesus said in Matthew 25 verse 41, when he described the final judgment. He said to those on his left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. This means that hell was not originally intended for humans, but for the fallen angels who rebelled against God and followed Satan. Jesus also said that hell is a place where, their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched, Mark 9 verse 48, implying that it is a place of unending torment and agony. But why do humans end up in hell? The answer is simple, because they align themselves with the devil and reject God's salvation through Jesus Christ. The Bible says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, Romans 3 verse 23, and that the wages of sin is death, Romans 6 verse 23. This means that everyone deserves to die and go to hell because of their sin. But God, in his great love and mercy, sent his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins, and to rise again from the dead, defeating sin, death, and the devil. He offers us forgiveness and eternal life as a free gift, if we repent of our sins and trust in him as our Lord and Savior. Jesus said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life, John 3 verse 16. He also said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, John 14 verse 6. He urges everyone to enter through the narrow gate that leads to life, and to avoid the broad gate that leads to destruction, Matthew 7 verses 13 to 14. Hell is an actual place that exists forever. Jesus used strong language about hell and its eternal punishment. He said that it is better to cut off your hand or foot or pluck out your eye if they cause you to sin, than to be cast into hell, where the fire never goes out, Mark 9 verses 43 to 48. He also said that in hell there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, indicating the pain and despair of those who are there, Matthew 13 verse 42. He said that hell is the only alternative to heaven, and that it is the separation from God and his presence. He said, and these will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life, Matthew 25 verse 46. The word everlasting means without end, and the word eternal means the same. There is no escape from hell, no second chance, no annihilation. Hell is the final destination of those who die without Christ. The judge casts people to hell at the end of time. Everyone will stand before Jesus Christ and he will separate the sheep from the goats, the righteous from the wicked, the saved from the lost. He will judge everyone according to their deeds, their words, and their hearts. He will reward those who have done good and believed in him, and he will punish those who have done evil and rejected him. He will say to the sheep, Come, you blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world, Matthew 25 verse 34. And he will say to the goats, Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels, Matthew 25 verse 41. The Bible says that the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night, Revelation 14 verse 11. The hard path is the path to heaven. Jesus cautioned people to stay away from the broad road that leads to destruction, and to choose the narrow road that leads to life. He said, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it, Matthew 7 verses 13 to 14. The broad road offers pleasure, power, and possessions, but it narrows and becomes suffocating. It leads to sin, death, and hell. The narrow road is hard and has a narrow gate, but it leads to righteousness, life, and heaven. It requires faith, repentance, and obedience. It leads to Jesus, who is the gate and the way. My friends, hell is real and it is terrible, but you don't have to go there. You can escape the wrath of God and the fire of hell by trusting in Jesus Christ and his finished work on the cross. He loves you and he wants to save you. He is waiting for you to come to him and receive his grace and mercy. Don't delay, don't hesitate, don't gamble with your soul. Today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow may be too late. Choose life, choose Christ, choose heaven. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave your comments and questions below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. God bless you. See you in the next video.